is to be a rift, particularly uh, amongst the deemed uh, uh, leaders of the C, and I'm talking specifically uh, Professor Walshman Mube Tendaibiti, as well as Nelson Chamisa. Apparently, it appears the guys were working together, and as time goes by, uh, they begin not to, I, I mean, to, to drift uh, apart from each other. Uh, I think the, both uh, Professor Walshman Mube, as well as Tendaibiti, have given uh, the supporters of Triple C uh, that, I mean, the, 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 their, their mind when it comes to issues surrounding uh, Triple C. Greetings and welcome on your lovely channel, the Sloan Panning Movie Music TV. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the right or black subscribe button so that next time when we beam live, you become the first one. And also you've got a chance to join our channel in terms of supporting it and pick uh, packages. Uh, we will be doing specific uh, videos for the members of this channel. Uh, so it will be interesting if you also become a, a member of the channel. Thank you very much. And let me delve uh, into the story of today. So everybody now is now clear uh, in Zimbabwe that there is a rift, uh, what I can call a misunderstanding uh, between the senior uh, leaders of Triple C, and I'm talking about Wal Walshman, Professor Walshman Mubi, as well as Tendai uh, and there the appears to be a problem that exists between uh, this camp of Tendai Viti and Professor Walshman Mubi, as well as also a uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa, and maybe uh, this before even they started to give these two individuals started to give us hints. And according to me, is this rift solvable? Uh, are these guys going to, 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 to come together for the good of the nation? Uh, that is yet to be seen. But what is escalating this whole thing? It is the supporters uh, of Triple C. Yes, I blame. Uh, totally the supporters because uh, the politics of Zimbabwe has become an idolatory politics whereby people support you because they worship you. They don't support you based on principle. And we are seeing a lot of social media bullying through the use of fake accounts. It doesn't help. Uh, I think this becomes an attitude of ZANU PF supporters. There is an urgent need for the Zimbabweans to say, uh, guys, what we need is change as the people of Zimbabwe. And our interest uh, is that you unite uh, the people, you unite uh, the party, you unite the supporters. Let me tell you one thing. The supporters of uh, either Professor Walshman Mube and Tendai Biti may decide on the side to say no. Um, we, 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 we want to do away with Nelson Chamisa uh, because he doesn't listen and advance the reasons that they are advancing. But let me tell you one thing. Automatically, if that decision is undertaken, they have divided the electorate. No matter one may appear to be powerful, uh, and also the supporters of uh, Nelson Chamisa can say, no, do away uh, with the with Tendai Viti, do away uh, with Professor Washman uh, These guys are nothing. Uh, they are CIO. We've heard this language that is unfolding uh, on social media uh, before, particularly from the supporters. And leaders have to grow up and uh, show that there is a reason why they were chosen to be leaders, because leaders have to demonstrate uh, leadership in spite of um, the pressure that comes either from social media or from the supporters. Leaders have to show at the end of the day uh, leadership. But I don't see leadership uh, within these uh, three individuals. Uh, now, I know Professor Walshman Mube has opened up uh, indicating that uh, he can't act or he can't do some of the things on behalf of Triple C because he has been left out in the leadership. And at, at one point he asked, I will do that in whose capacity? You're getting the sense. That, that, that is a, a very, very a fundamental question that he asked. And I totally uh, understand him. At the same time, 
uh, I have heard also David in one of the audios that were released uh, to the public and uh, they were uh, circulated in social media, most probably by the members of the Central Intelligence Organization because they are privy to communications uh, that one has. You see, they can listen to your phones, all of you Zimbabweans, uh, the government of the day have the technology to listen to your calls and they have got the technology to make you to fight because if you make a mistake of gossiping about uh, one of the others and the other here that indeed this is your voice you're talking about me uh, wishing me ill for example we heard uh, Tendai BT saying no uh, shouldn't have done what he has done this person was going to be finished on his own uh, he was speaking in Shona uh, he said uh, that is what he said uh, and uh, people got an insinuation that he was referring uh, to Nelson Chamisa because he was talking of recalls that the recalls were unnecessary uh, I'm not the president of anything uh, this guy could have just let this to be uh, because this person is going to finish himself by himself. Now, uh, today Nelson Chamisa posted something on his Twitter account uh, saying there is absolutely nothing that will divide the citizens of Zimbabwe. When he's speaking, citizens is referring to his supporters uh, that they can write long essays, but that would not. Uh, dissuade them uh, because this is their time it's he said this is his time this is his season uh, at the end of the day he will have the last laugh uh, at the moment is signifying and indicating and appreciating that there are challenges at the moment within triple c there is no celebration because uh, triple c is somewhere somehow supported and it is internally supported uh, according to him uh, that's how i put it according to him but in spite of that he has hope he is saying this is uh, this is and i saw one of the members saying no i voted for you in 2018 i voted for you again in 2023 please can you give us something more tangible uh, than the the vases if you can't uh, kindly resign and give another person uh, the chance obviously that is debatable debate, there are some who believes uh, Chamis, Nelson Chamisa has failed for two consecutive times and they are, they are almost a majority. I don't know whether it's a majority. You see, somebody can, these days, politics of these days, can be influenced by social media. Political parties or political leaders invest on social media, create ghost accounts. Ghost accounts will uh, make their leaders to be popular on social media. That, you know, it is done by uh, throw money. Uh, digital marketing uh, to give an impression that someone is the strongest uh, leader. Uh, even Zanu PF is doing so. It has created ghost accounts. They are able to counter triple C. They have realized that they were not controlling the social media space. But this time around, they have also devised the same strategy that is devised by the opposition uh, so that if Nelson Chamisa uh, does a mistake, they will hit hard on that uh, perceived mistake and uh, uh, push a narrative, a narrative obviously, uh, to character assassinate him. And also, Triple C is also dominating the social media uh, space. But I think uh, I'm, I'm here to talk about Professor Walshman Mubet and IBT as well as Nelson Chamis. Uh, in my view, if, if they were listening to my advice, there is still a window for these guys to communicate. And I know, don't listen to supporters. Uh, someone is drinking his beer, he doesn't even understand politics. What uh, what influences the people of Zimbabwe to, to support a politician? Most of them, not all of them. It is idolatry. They have this worship of an individual which blinds them to, to, to scrutinize an individual uh, and uh, 
come up with fair judgments when they are making votes. In Zimbabwe, uh, people vote uh, uh, mostly, I mean, they worship politicians. Look at what ZANU-PF supporters do. They worship their leader. This is the same thing that also opposition supporters do. Instead of supporting someone because of the ideas, because of the leadership style, because of meritocracy, people just support because of the character the person was able to market himself the, the the person is able to to actually influence social media spaces then boom you vote for for these people but according to me triple c is stronger with professor walshman I'm, I'm telling you hate him or like him the man has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to political administration if his advices were listened and i can attest to that uh, the thing is or Chabang factor could not have affected a uh, triple c as a political party because a uh, professor Walshman will understand political uh, administration he's a professor in law by the way uh, and you can't take that away from him this narrative that is a, is a, is a member of the central intelligence organization these same supporters said so uh, during 2005. Let's let's characterize things. What made MTC to disintegrate in 2005? It is because Morgan Swangirai disregarded the constitution of the party, disregarded the, the decision of the NEC, the majority decision. He went against the NEC. And that is why uh, he lost the plot. So uh, it is constitutionalism. This is what divided uh, MTC. They, it's not because Professor Walshman Nube and the likes of Gibson, the late May his soul rest in peace, uh, wanted these divisions to exist. And a lot of guys from Matebeleland, uh, a lot of guys from Matebeleland questioned the dictatorial tendencies uh, of uh, uh, Moken Swangirai. This is why they drifted away uh, from MTC. Now, come to 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 to, to triple uh, C. Triple C. The problem uh, that is happening at the moment. You saw the constitution that was produced by Nelson Chamisa to the court. Uh, if that way was to be critically assessed, if truth is to be applied, that constitutional that constitution is dictatorial. It's dictatorial. It, it centers all the powers. Is the secretary president? Is the secretary general spokesperson? Everything of the party. No, it, then that is exactly uh, what uh, it is in Zanu PF. In Zanu PF, Mnangakwa uh, uh, is the first secretary, which means is the secretary general. That don't worry about Opetimpof. Opetimpof is second, but he's the secretary general. He's the chief communicator. He's the chief everything. The, 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 the powers are centered around Emerson Tambutsum. And the Zimbabweans needs a different approach into politics. They need a, a, not a one-man kind of a political party, but a political party uh, that would be inclusive. Uh, if Triple C is able uh, to, to get together people who do not necessarily who are not necessarily friends, but people who are bound together because of common interests, people who are not worshipping each other. It means when they are sitting in their superior decision making body, these individuals will be in a position to uh, have in I mean very, very uh, thorough discussions. Look at political parties like EFF. Uh, they call uh, their supreme decision making uh, decision making party a war room because they, they they critically discuss issues of the party that is what a democratic party must do uh, whereby uh, all leaders you you can't uh, send a power around one man and expect that when he becomes the head of the state, he will uh, spread that power. Uh, he will reduce the powers from himself. That is a lie. That is a lie. So that is the weakness which Tendaibiti has against Nelson Chamisa. That is a, a weakness which also Professor Ngobe has against Nelson. Don't listen to these noises uh, that are going around. They have been making noise before making false allegations. But the truth of the matter, if that country is to go for as long, you see, what will further divide this country, I can assure you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, learn it from me. 
if this issue of tribalizing politics of saying hey matipelele and what 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 hey matipelele when you do that you will see at the end of the day this country will be divided mark my words it will be divided and less leaders of today make a the right decisions a respect you sh- they should be a respect from the people of Matipele and as well as the people of Mashona and have equal uh, not to say so and so is the support that doesn't work you can't say uh, because so and so is the support then that so and so is to break rules that is nonsensical uh, if so and so has the support yes people should support you because you are a people driven individual you care about the interest of the party you care about the well-being of the people of Zimbabwe not just supporting you uh, while you, you you are exhibiting some dictatorial tendencies uh, while you are exhibiting uh, I, i mean no 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 this characteristic when it comes to issues of constitutionalism yes you remember the people we are dealing with we are and remember why people of Mat- of of Zimbabwe uh, uh, and Matipelele and in particular hate Zanu PF they hate Zanu PF because Zanu PF cannot follow its constitution they are making the constitution to punish the citizens uh, themselves they can be involved in gold mafia they can be involved in siphoning the resources of the nation it doesn't matter to them uh, oh, 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 that constitution is just a paper uh, to punish an individual like like me eh, to punish an individual eh, like Pasho when he says eh, this government if it fails to adhere to constitutionalism eh, we will make our make noise to the streets and they force it to adhere to constitutionalism they will take such an individual because he's threatening their existence that if people buys into the idea of that they know and they would not go after a soft leader they would not go after a leader whom they know that i this one cannot think beyond elections uh, this one cannot think uh, beyond the circumstances he cannot overthrow us no they cannot go after the, they will go after an individual whom they see that this individual is strong this individual is better than us in terms of uh, characterizing the politics of zimbabwe because of his or her understanding uh, so the tension that exists between professor Osman, unfortunately if these guys are divided come next elections if this regime is still in place if there is no other force that will help the people of zimbabwe to get rid of this regime i can tell you there will be numerous uh, political parties these guys will, they they still uh, they, 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 are, they still matter in the zimbabwean politics tendai bt can decide to form another organization and professor walshman what will that do it will eat on the votes in 2028 so the thing is people should not unite you should actually as a leader surround yourself with yes boys yes girls people will say yes to you when you say everything they just clap if you ask them what are you clapping for they can't even tell you what they are clapping for you should surround yourself with people who are critical thinkers people who think and tell you no this uh, direction you are about to take it is wrong please redirect your step that th- these are the good people to surround yourself with if you are a leader but if you are a leader you are surrounding your, yourself with people even when you are going to the pit uh, they say no we are supporting you our leader they will go with you to that pit so i think this is what uh, professor washman move and the diabetes uh, are, are, are attacked for they are attacked because they saw that no things are not going uh, properly let's just uh, step back and see how things will unfold we appear to be excluded uh, you guys came and and now they is singers of chabang they are feeling how to deal uh, with the issue of singers of chabang and these guys are saying no 
we, we, we felt the supporters are busy. Why are you keeping quiet? They are forcing everybody to speak. Uh, these bully supporters. I mean, if someone is keeping quiet, you're doing your own thing, then why are you bothering an individual for making noise? If someone uh, is keeping quiet, then he's giving you a room and a space for you to do whatever you intend uh, to do. So, uh, as long as Zimbabweans, I, I will repeat again, as long as you support a political leader uh, based on idolatry, because you worship, you just worship. Yeah, I like so and so. Why you don't even have uh, the reasons why you are liking that particular politician? Then we will produce another Emerson Tambo. Remember, it is the same people. These same people who are uh, pulling these other leaders, it is the same people who went to the streets, uh, occupied all the streets of Zimbabwe, celebrated the military coup regime uh, in 2017. They celebrated, they saw everything good about Emerson Tambuzumnagao. Today, what is happening? They are crying about the same thing. So if you do the same thing to your opposition political party and you don't uh, listen to these advices, you will cry in the future. Thank you very much for watching us. If you are watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when